आजकल दैट थिन लाइन बिटवीन बॉलीवुड एंड कंटेंट क्रिएशन वो और इतनी थिन हो गई है कि अब बॉलीवुड वाले इस तरफ आ गए अगर वो इस तरफ आ सकते हैं तो अपन लोग भी उस तरफ जा सकते हैं और अपन लोग जा रहे हैं हमने एक्टिंग कोच को बोला कि सर आपने मुझे बताया था एक्टिंग इज डूइंग बट एक्टिंग इज रिलीजिंग कब होता है I am auditioning a lot. I wouldn't have imagined, but yeah, and a lot of them obviously clearly don't go through. I think especially after Rain Gurish, the a bunch of people are like, are you really that desperate to find a man to meet? I was like, no, <laughs> it's the editing. <laughs> I think sometimes it's exhausting to um, continuously prove what you can do and cannot just because you're boxed into a category. Oh my god it's finally happening woohoo prajakta bhuvan niharika raghav trinetra thank you for being on the film companion adda thank you for having us thank you this was the easiest adda to put together i just texted all of you all the names of my ultimate wish list and within seconds it was i'll be there say the time i'll yep. be there thank you guys i'm particularly happy about these faces because each of you have had such unique years and i really want to take this year and moment to celebrate that and also just stir the conversation into where we are headed as content creators given we're at the 10 year mark of this digital content creator ecosystem wow okay i want to start with something thoda heavy i heard this guy say in an interview once ki main insaan tab dobara bana jab main is social network se nikla baap re baap bowling kar di pehle what is start ha kya what did you mean मैं इंसान दोबारा बना जब मैं इस सोशल नेटवर्क के बाहर से निकला नहीं इसका मतलब ये था मेरा कहने का कि मैं ऑलरेडी टीवी से इतना फेमस हो रखा था और हर जगह वो रील्स वो जो आती है होस्टिंग की वो हर जगह थी तो मुझे ऐसा लगा यार आई हैव टू मतलब तीन चार साल का गैप लेना ही पड़ेगा तभी लोग मुझे एक्सेप्ट करेंगे सरप्राइज एलिमेंट रहेगा फिल्म में अगर मैं हर जगह अगर दिन क्या दिन फिल्म्स में अचानक से मैं आऊँगा एंड देन वो सरप्राइज एलिमेंट चला जाएगा एंड दैट्स वाई आई कॉन्शियसली टू का गैप फ्रॉम सोशल टी वी में मोस्टली टी वी से किया था सोशल तो मेरा है नहीं ऐसा आई डोंट हैव यूट्यूब ट्विटर है नहीं इंस्टाग्राम है उससे थोड़ा एड वैड से मिल जाता है घर चलाने के लिए पैसा कौन दे रहे हैं शेर डालते नहीं हो मैं हो गया फिर मैं ना नहीं नहीं तुम्हारे से वो तो है एक मिनट मैं सबसे बड़ा यहां पर बैठा हूं बट यस आई टुक अ गैप कॉन्शियसली सो दैट एक थोड़ा सरप्राइज एलिमेंट रहे उस जो चीज मैं अभी कर रहा हूं उसमें व्हिच आई विल कम टू इन जस्ट अ बिट जो सरप्राइज एलिमेंट है जो मैंने देखी है ऑलरेडी हां यू हैव सीन यस आई हैव बट आई वांट टू टेक अ मोमेंट टू आस्क ईच ऑफ यू ऑल to talk to me about one milestone in this year that may not necessarily be obvious not something that the world has looked at as your ultimate achievement this year but something that really gave you a sense of sukoon mm. what would it be for each of you oh mm? uh for me i think just the fact that uh, i thought i even had the guts to write a book Wow. खत्म भी नहीं हुआ अभी चेस टू बैक बट आई थिंक जस्ट दैट दैट आई स्टार्टेड इट एंड आई एम ऑलमोस्ट डन मेरे को नहीं लगा था कि आई एवर एट लीस्ट नॉट दिस अर्ली ऑन आई डेंट थिंक सो आई थिंक फॉर मी दैट्स बिन अ पर्सनल माई पब्लिश्ड ऑफ दो नॉट येट मेरे को हमेशा से घर लेके उसको बनाना था तो अभी बन रहा है तो वो मेरा बहुत सुकून है उसमें गुड लुक आफ्टर रीच एंड एवरीथिंग जिसका मुझे कोई आइडिया नहीं है लर्निंग एज यू गो लर्निंग लर्निंग अपने आंखों के सामने वो एक मटका बनते हुए जब आप देखते हो जब एक पॉटर देखता है वो मटका बनते हुए तो उसको क्या फील होता होगा वो मुझे अभी ऐसे रियलाइज होता है यस ओ मी सॉरी 
um i think this year for me was the biggest in terms of personal growth uh i i think i've lived very anxiously and stressed for like the past decade uh and i think with my journey on the internet i started very young and i grew up on the internet so for me to kind of wrap my head around what is happening and how much of it is is my job and how much of it is me kind of making that distinction mm. is very new even though i've been doing this for a really long time and now i'm i'm so comfortable in my own skin i'm just so happy being me and that's a it's a long journey and it's an everyday thing it's not like i'm there it's an everyday thing and i'm just so proud of myself this year to be able to distinguish between the person that i am and what i do for a living and not let it you know become one and the same thing because so much of my identity is tied to my job that it's so it's so easy to lose track of who you truly are and i think this year i'm oh i'm in it like and i love the person i'm discovering good so thank you what's my biggest thing well, yeah. good for you thank you about <laughs> that thank you big that I'm answer i love <laughs> <laughs> अब बोलेगा मैं तो किल पे था चालीस <laughs> लोगों को मारा मैंने हाँ सॉरी एक क्वेश्चन क्या था सुकून कहाँ से मिलती है आपको और एटलीस्ट इन दिस ईयर वॉट गिव यू मैक्सिम पीस पीस आई थिंक आई ओवर केव माई एंगर स्पेशली वाइल ड्राइविंग कार इन मुंबई पहाड़ों में जाता हूँ सब सुकून भरी रील्स डालता हूँ जो भी है जैसे ही मुंबई में ट्रैफिक में गाड़ी चला रहा होता हूँ ना और अंदर ही खिड़की बंद करके रहता हूँ ताकि वो मेरा अंदर का कतारसेस हो जाए घर के अंदर ही सो दैट इज माय अचीवमेंट फॉर दिस ईयर कंग्रेचुलेशन लव यू हां वेल डन एंड फाइनली यस आई थिंक मेनी थिंग्स बट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट वाज फाइंडिंग अ होम इन बॉम्बे बिकॉज़ एंड आई वाज टेलिंग यू दिस अर्लियर एज़ वेल दैट यू नो the number of transphobic landlords is a lot higher than we know so to sort of go through that process while finishing my mbbs and then find a place um it's a cute little hole <laughs> but it's it's mine and it's beautiful and i mean we're really happy and also to see a trans person on screen you know when this happened when maybe him came out uh the brief that we needed to take a picture with the tv hadn't even come yet they sent it later and done it already uploaded also <laughs> <laughs> because it was so big for me to see someone that looked my like my series you know on a screen the representation was so powerful um and to have people resonate with that world is really big it was really yeah can i just say that this is exactly why all of y'all are on my adda with me today so again thank you You know it's always fascinating me <coughs> how different one's perception of oneself can be from how the world perceives us. So I thought it'd be fun to ask each of you to give me two unlikely adjectives to describe yourself to us here. What would be two adjectives how you perceive yourself that isn't necessarily how the world sees you? I want to hear Nikharika. <laughs> First I don't know why. I was <coughs> Okay. I'm uh I'm actually really calm. I'm not no. very aggressive Hari, like my videos like I know. Sorry, I'm not as uh I don't really get angry like that in in real life. It is why it helps, you know, to to use that as my outlet. Um I also think I'm very um I'm really it's great. I'm really nice. I'm really kind. and i think the more i'm let me know the that better lies we know no, that no, that no, doesn't sound so loud that i feel like it's so no. easy to no. okay something else so <laughs> lies kind to look at fair we fair because i straight up have like come da what da yeah yeah <laughs> like so when people approach me outside also they come to me with that energy and usually i'm just chilling i'm going to edit like, oh, this hi, with your reels in a window no no that's right no when i get loud bro tell me when i'll start no but i think uh, yeah i mind my own business i'm 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 actually an introvert I I don't really um I don't really socialize and network too much just with my people and my friends but I if you see me at a party it's because I have to be there like so if you ever see me I'm not having fun I'm just there cuz it's part of my job but I'm I'm never you will never catch me dead at Soho house or, or like any place if I'm there somebody's paying me to be there I'm telling you that is yeah I think that's something hmm. insomnia count hota hai kya ha ha hota hai ha ha yaar हाँ वो है और लेजी आई एम लेजी 
आपने कहा था वेन एवर यूर स्ट्रेस्ड यू जस्ट गो टू स्लीप हाँ मतलब लाइफ का बेस्ट सोल्यूशन स्ट्रेस ऐसे ऐसे टाइम पे आता है नहीं इतना नहीं होता बट क्योंकि मैं सोता ही नहीं अभी इसको बता रहा था मैं साढ़े बारह बजे सोया दोपहर में रात का जगह उस सुबह का जगह तो दैट्स इट और कुछ भी नहीं है एडजेक्टिव बाकी सबको पता ही है बट ये एक ऐसी चीज़ है जो मेरे को पता है कि दिस इज तो बेटर ट्रूथ ओवन का एक और मुझे लगता है कि वो जितना भी फन करता है लोगों को हंसाता है बट ही हैज़ अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सेंसिटिव साइड टू वर्थ लाइक उसमें है वो कभी मैं बात जब करता हूँ उससे मैं बहुत सालों से मैं जानता हूँ मुझे ऐसा लगता है जो सबको नहीं पता है तो मैं प्राउड फील करता हूँ कि मुझे लगता है कि वो है हाँ सही सही ना बोल है हाँ मतलब सेंसिटिव होना सीख गया ना मैं लाइफ में वैसे हमें कौन बताता है कि सेंसिटिव होना चाहिए लाइफ में सब तो बोलते बी आउट देयर करो बी ये सब करो वो सब करो बट फील करना मैंने इतने आर्ट ब्रेक्स हुए तो मैंने फील करना भी रिसेंट सीखा है तो आई थिंक वही है फील करना चीज़ है Who do you think you are? Uh, I'm, I'm very, very unaware about most things in life. I'm blissfully just winging it every single day. I have no clue what I'm doing. Just I'm doing it. Weird. Uh, and I've just found out that I'm not bad at golf. At oh, golf? Wow. Yeah. Wow. This we didn't know. Yeah. First time I played. So last year, first time I played. I was like, huh. And I'm not very athletic, so my side is not often very often. But yeah, these two things. Okay. I think I'm doing it. 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 वो बचपन से सुनते आ रहे हो कैंसीरियन है इसलिए होगा कैंसीरियन है इसलिए होगा नहीं यार इंसान ही ऐसा हो यार तो वो हाँ इमोशनल हो और पानी में लौंग डाल के पी रहा हूँ आई एम एक्सट्रीमली इंट्रोवर्टिव वेरी सिमिलर टू यू You fake it a lot better than I do. I have to say, I don't fake it very well. I don't like people. It's fact. <laughs> Me too. I again don't show up at a party unless I absolutely have to. Uh, because see, I am someone that legitimately gains a lot of energy in solitude. I like that, you know, with my books and my studies and like whatever, doing my thing. Um, I really enjoy my peace. Uh, I think especially after Rain Gurish the a bunch of people are like are you really that desperate to find a man thing it's like it's the end of the day <laughs> nice. um I I read this somewhere no like someone has to compete with the peace I feel in my solitude to get you out of there yeah otherwise it's not going to work because I enjoy that so much I've lived in North for so long and there's that two adjectives you said okay The second one would be like master procrastinator, and I swear to God, it's not a conscious thing. It's just that you know, with a lot of us, um, it's like with this time, will I be able to do a good job? No. Okay, chuck it. Yes. Do it later. <laughs> uh, so, um, even with studies and everything, you know, I think this is also possibly an ADHD thing. Uh, I'm not a psychiatrist. I won't know, but. Uh, I procrastinate more than I would like to admit for good reason. I'm not lazy, no offense. For good reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I feel like we know each other a little bit more now. Yeah. I'm going to come to you. We're going to talk work now. Like I was telling you guys, I had the opportunity of watching Kill at TIFF. Well oh. done by the way. Congratulations. Great job. Maine bhi dekh li hai. Are? Badam. Sachi क्या बात है यार क्या कैसे यू नो दैट इविल ग्लिंट इन हिज आई इज गोइंग टू स्टे विद मी फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड यू गाइस रियली हैव टू वॉच आउट फॉर इट इट्स गोइंग टू कम अर्ली नेक्स्ट ईयर बट आई वांट टू आस्क यू राघव अम हाउ मच ऑफ अ कॉन्शियस डिसीजन वाज इट ऑन योर पार्ट टू परहैप्स ट्राई एंड गेट कास्ट एज एन एंटैगोनिस्ट 
so far removed from the dancer that people <coughs> loved you so much as? Hmm. Nice question. देखो क्या है ना कोई मैंने चूज नहीं किया कुछ मुझे ऑडिशन के लिए बुलाया था कास्टिंग वे में अनमोल ने और ऑडिशन देता था मैं उस टाइम पे एंड आई आई थॉट कि आई शुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक्स जैसे डांस का मैंने बेसिक्स से स्टार्ट किया था ना ऑडिशन दिए थे तेरह तेरह घंटे लगा पड़ा था स्ट्रेचिंग वेचिंग एक एक मसल को पता है कौन सा कब मूव करना है इसमें भी मुझे सोचा था बेसिक से स्टार्ट करता हूँ ट्रेनिंग वेनिंग सारी कर करके पाँच छः साल ऑडिशन देता हूँ उसके बाद मेरा आई थिंक मैं एक फिल्म ऑलरेडी कर रहा था इंडिपेंडेंट फिल्म है रणवीर शौरी साहब और संजय मिश्रा जी के साथ बनारस में mm. उसके दौरान इसका ऑडिशन हुआ देन आई क्रैक द ऑडिशन देन आई मेट गुनी देन करण सर एंड देन हैपन लाइक दैट ऐसा कुछ नहीं कि मैंने चूज़ किया काम ये आई वॉज मुझे बड़ा वो था कि भाई मेरी फॉलोइंग है मैं फैन में तो ठीक है फेमस हूँ लेकिन मुझे इसके उस पर नहीं चाहिए आई रियली वॉन्ट टू गो सीधा नीचे से एंड आई चोज आई आई सेट नो टू लॉर्ड ऑफ कॉमेडी लाइट भी नहीं करना चाह रहा था कुछ लाइट फिल्म भी नहीं कर रही थी मुझे यार ये चाहे चार साल लगे मैंने अपनी फोर ईयर्स आई थिंक आई टू कम ब्रेक आई स्टार्टेड सींग कि मेरे फॉरिंग भी कम हो रही है रील्स भी कम हो रही है रील्स का वो भी कम हो रहा है सब लोग बोल रहे हैं कहाँ है आजकल दिखता नहीं घर वाले होते हैं ना उनको तो क्या है तो बस वो मैंने कहा वो मेरा है कुछ स्ट्रैटेजी अगर काम कर गई तो कर गई तो वो स्किल में करियर ने ऐसा रुख बदला कि वो कर गई काम एक तरह से तो बस चूज क्या करता हूँ मतलब वो ये ऑडिशन देता हूँ उसमें सिलेक्ट हो गया था और बस ऑल्सो आई लाइक टू एक्ट समथिंग टू दिस वी ऑल एव सीम सीन एम इन द रियलिटी शोज दैट ही डज बट आई स्टम्बल्ड अपॉन वन ऑफ इज मूवीज कुछ साल पहले बहुत हुआ सम्मान एंड आई सॉ एम एंड आई डेंट नो ही वॉज इन इट आई स्टार्टेड बहुत बहुत सम्मान पॉलिटिकल एंड आई आई स्टार्टेड वॉचिंग इट फॉर संजय सर एंड देन वैन आई सॉ हिम लाइक what the hell and it was you are so good in the movie that now whatever he get, achieves in life i know that he deserves it 100% 100% yeah so nice Hello. no and also talking of following i did some broad math and yeah. apparently collectively this group here has an instagram following and i haven't even added bhuvan's youtube into this number Please don't add that. हमारी पिछली करार ने बुलाया क्या आपने? Collectively as a following of the population of Canada. Ah. Oh. 40 million. More than wow. five years ago, at Film Companion, you had spoken to Anupama, where you talked about how you were really scared of losing it all. Hmm. Five years later, and to all of you all as well, is there a certain strength in numbers? Does it give you wings to do more? Or does it make you fearful that views come over, likes come over? I need the expectation of me versus this number is such. How do you feel at this ten-year mark? I feel there's too much of uh, there's too much internet now, so I have to consciously shut myself off from internet. Because when I sit and write an episode, subconsciously, in my mind, there were trending reels he was running. and then the devil takes over and says ki kyunki ye sab dekh rahe hain isi ko dal deta hu episode mein ha aur viewership up it's become a facade now i feel kyunki people have so many options they already had so many options platform wise but now because of instagram reels and because of other other mediums i think for me particularly youtube has टेकन अ बैक सीट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द क्रिएटर्स मेरी जिनसे भी बात होती है क्योंकि वैसा दिस वैसा रिस्पेक्टफुल प्लेटफॉर्म अब किसी को फील नहीं होता क्योंकि वो जो पर्सनल टच था यूट्यूब से आज से तीन चार साल पहले वी यू लॉस्ट इट बिकॉज दे दे हैव अ डिफरेंट एम दे हैव डिफरेंट गोल्स नाउ एज अ कंपनी सो यू फील दैट इन योर इंट्रैक्शन विद दैट It's been it's been two years since I've interacted with anyone from YouTube. Earlier it was a weekly habit to touch base, what's happening, what is happening. Now it's not there, and I'm I don't crave about it. That's life. But you're doing great work also. After Taza Khabar and yeah. Then no, I was just going to say T Two Mama has his own spin-off yeah. show as yeah, well. In yeah. general, in general, I'm telling you that the numbers are not. Before they scared us with a lot of numbers. That it's not going to happen. Now we know that it's not going to happen. And I. 
तो किस वजह से अब कुछ ग्रे नहीं है ब्लैक और व्हाइट है सब Yeah. I have to get yeah. you in there as well, Prajakta. How often do you find yourself going back to feed the YouTube beast? Because clearly, each of us here are pivoting yeah. every once in a while. I think for me, earlier last year is for the first time I felt, and I don't mean it any other way, but I just felt like personally, I I've grown up from being the twenty-one year old that I was when I started creating content. Yeah. Uh, during the lockdown, I ended up falling back in love with writing. Uh, I used to do that all the time, and then life took over. And I'm not complaining because I've had the best uh, kind of time doing the hundred things that I was doing uh, till about early till till the lockdown. So lockdown, me, just suddenly I realized that oh, like I've got a lot more time, and I'm writing, and I'm developing shows. Um, I'm not developing. I'm writing shows. I was okay. Now I want to develop them. Now I want to see if anyone wants to buy this. I want to see if anyone's interested in this because for me that was my natural next step forward. Because uh, I was 21 when I started. I was 29, 28 when I suddenly felt a little bit of a disconnect with that person, and I felt like again this is such a long game, and I I've said, said this all the time. I don't think you can fake it. I don't think you can turn up every week and say, you know, this is me, and this is how I'm feeling. I don't think it works like that. So the minute you feel even a little bit of disconnect, I felt that with myself, uh, and the kind of writing that I was doing. So that is when I took a step back, and when I did, I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. So I knew that the numbers are going to dip, obviously, because you're out of sight, you're out of mind. I knew that it's going to affect business. I knew that it's going to affect brands. I knew that is going to overall affect my uh, visibility because I was putting up three videos in a week. So from going that to zero, mm. uh, suddenly in a week, and now I'm just doing vlogs and I'm doing real talk Tuesday conversations and stuff like that. I knew what I was getting into, so I feel like because I was prepared for it, it didn't kind of bother me as much. Sure, sure. You moved to Mumbai. Welcome. Thank you. Yep. Yes. Thank you very much. Big move, and also yeah. you voiced for Netflix's Big Mouth. Yes. You voiced for Marvel's Hawkeye. You had Made in Heaven. These were all big opportunities for you three women. I'm curious to know how much of it did you look at as also just an opportunity to let the world know that you are a lot, lot more than just the influencer or the funny girl on the internet. Um, dude, honestly, for me, Big Mouth. Uh, I I I don't even know how to comprehend it because the kind of names that are attached to the show to be any right. part of it at all is is something I wouldn't even put on my vision board because you put things on your vision board that you say you can achieve, right? I don't even think my brain went that far when I you know I I, I grew up watching a lot of Key and Peele. I still love their shit, and to be associated with Andrew. Who wrote Family Guy and who's written Big Mouth? To be to to do anything related to them is insane. And I honestly didn't go on board as an influencer. Um, it's, it's actually a funny thing. I voiced a bunch of animals also on the show. Like I voiced a bunch of things. And um, it's later that they discovered I had an internet following. And until they dropped the news, they put Megan the Stallion me in the same headline. That's when I was like, what is happening? And we shot for this like a year and a half ago. And I just went in because I loved the show so much, so I did it as like a gig, not like a big release thing. And I wasn't even bothered about when it's going to release. Like five days after the show dropped, I'm seeing headlines, and I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, like, she can't have no plans at my house because yeah, yeah. I was released. like, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, like something is happening today, Sneha. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Literally, guys, I'm on a show that's like on international release, and my team's losing their mind. And then, I'm, and then like, why didn't you tell us? And I'm like, I didn't know. Like, what do you mean? So it was one of those things, and then I sent Nick Crone a really long message saying, "Hey, uh, sir, I've been watching you since the Crow Show, and just to be associated with this, I was shaking when I was typing it also because I never imagined I, you know." So yeah, I think Big Mouth for me, I don't know what it was to answer your question. It was just something that I can't comprehend, and I'm just so glad I get to see my name on the IMDb credits of Big Mouth. That's just. I'm not even okay. Like, who am I? I don't even know. Having like an identity existential crisis, and I have a film. I'm in a film music video in the thing. Megan The Stallion has a song. I have a song. Who am I? Who do you think I am? Anyway, that was no. But again, 
Oh, we know that you're working with Shanu Sharma. There's Atul Mungia. You've done a bunch of films. You had two releases this year. I want to know. Obviously, each of y'all are putting in the work to be taken seriously as actors. How can you tell whether someone is hiring you for your acting jobs versus the clout that you bring uh, to the project by virtue of just the numbers that you carry with you? Who and Jin? Sorry. Please. I was just saying. I think just because of the number of auditions that don't go through. Oh. I think that tells a lot, at least for me. Yeah. I'm auditioning a lot. I wouldn't have imagined, but yeah. And it does. A lot of them, obviously, clearly, don't go through. Uh, I honestly, I'm I'm very grateful to Panchmi for giving me the opportunities for Mismatch and Juk Juk. But between them, after them, there's so much that I've auditioned. So again. The silver lining to that is okay, fine, chalo, great. Then they're not taking me because I'm not fitting the character, or I don't, I cannot deliver what they're expecting, or I don't set um, the story right. So that makes sense. So I think for me, that's a pretty inciting factor. Yeah, I wouldn't have imagined, but that's good to know as well. Then yeah, yeah. okay. What Absolutely, else? what Rajakta said also, not getting parts, you know, because then clearly it's not just about the numbers anymore. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Um, but also at the same time, see, when it comes to trans representation, so for other ball game, and it's just about starting the half it, right? Um, so you can't, many a time, I can't tell if it's just tokenistic, just for the sake of having somebody from the community there. For a lot of auditions, for example, you can tell, when you read the script, you can tell that the gaze is not empathetic. It doesn't come from genuine storytelling. It comes from the need for masala in a story, mm. where your transness becomes that masala. You know, so you see that. It becomes a thing, right? Uh-huh. Twist. Yeah. Sticking Can't box. Even twist. Box. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, that was one of my questions. We speak so much of inclusivity and representation. Can you paint a picture of what a day in the life of your acting career is like? Like, what are the auditions like for you? This is really hard to talk about without naming names. <laughs> We're allowed but to okay. name names. So it's the same many a time, for example. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> names are in the casting director yeah. name. We can't give that. Yeah. Yeah. That time, like, shit, I said what casting good, me. Good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. It's fine. Oh. There are times in certain parts, for example, where anatomy and genitalia are talked about in such extensive, unnecessary detail that you know that this has no bearing on the story whatsoever. That it doesn't make any difference if this whole thing was just cut. But you want it because you want those words, you want the audience jarred, you want them entertained, you want these jokes because the audience is like... So, you know, I will say that I'm very happy that the OTT space exists because it's democratized storytelling so much that so many stories would never get told. Um, on the big screen, you know. Meher on Made in Heaven would never get told. I know this. Um, and I'm also very fortunate to have started off with that. And that privilege is not lost on me. Um, but at the same time, after that, when more auditions happen, and when, you know, you kind of read things and you meet people, or when someone narrates something to you, you're just like... <laughs> you know, what is this? Um, so... That's definitely still a process, you know, the, the storytelling that comes with trans people. Joyland, for example, one of my favorite films of all time, is not a trans story. It's a story about patriarchy told through different people, which I found so beautiful. Um, and if that can happen, why can't we be doing more? You know, I want to see more. But at some point, like you, Project, I would also really like, like to write more things, you know, because you think that the power of representation is limited to one person from one community in front of the camera. That's not it. Like, you need more people behind also. You need yeah. people to write. The same yeah. community, yes. Yeah. To write yeah. and, yeah, yeah. That's like true. Neeraj, for example, yeah. director on Made in Heaven. Yes. It makes such a difference with his storytelling that he's behind the lens. Correct. You know, and what that does for a Gili Puchi or a Masan. Or even a Ghazal. Or a Ghazal, yeah. absolutely, with mismatched. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I find that extremely inspiring to also be behind because that's where you realize as an actor that power lies, you know, an actor has very limited power as far as storytelling is concerned, that a lot of it happens behind the camera. You're just doing your part. You're bringing skills and you're doing your part, but the power of storytelling is perhaps more behind the camera than sure. in front of it. 
you know guys i was at tiff speaking to shibani vedi who also had her film thank you yeah. for coming yeah. over there and she said something to me that i want you guys to weigh in on she talked about how the biggest consequence of being a content creator today is that you're not considered smart enough to have ambition mm. or your range is just that which panders to mass sentiment i know you hate the word influencer you <laughs> talked about <laughs> not relating to it as well is this something that you faced mere ko maza aata hai maza aata hai maza aata hai very good jab koi aapko kam aakta hai na mere ko bahut maza aata hai क्योंकि वो जो लोअर जैब आता है ना जब आप कर देते हो वो काम इट्स नॉट वेंचफुल नहीं है ये थॉट ये थॉट बस ऐसा है कि मुझे पता है मैं क्या सोच रहा हूँ मैं जानता हूँ कि मेरे को क्या करना है लाइफ में लोग अपने परसेप्शन से जिए सही आप अपने परसेप्शन पे रखिए बट मुझे नहीं लगता ये चीज़ें सब लोगों पर लागू होती है मुझे लगता है इतना सीरियसली लेना चाहिए चीज़ों को लेना ही नहीं चाहिए कोई बोलता है तो हाँ बिल्कुल आप जैसा कहें हाँ मतलब वही कि क्यों किसी को बोल रहे हैं कि कौन क्यों इन्फ्लुएंस क्या मतलब सब काम कर रहे हैं अपना यार घर चला रहे हैं तो मैं सॉरी बिहाफ में ऐसा किसी के बिहाफ में भी नहीं बोल रहा कि मेरा तो है नहीं लेकिन मतलब मैं इतना सीरियस नहीं लेता नहीं मुझे जो अच्छा लगता हूँ मैं देखता हूँ यार कुछ जिस कुछ मैं जिससे मूव हो जाऊँ या जो मुझे इंटरेस्टिंग लगे जो मुझे चार पल की हंसी दे दे यार मेरे को रुला दे मैं उसको मैं बिल्कुल विदाउट जजमेंट में कोशिश करता हूँ मैं ऐसे ही रहूँ और देखूँ दुनिया को उसमें अब जैसे मुझे बिगेस्ट एग्जांपल है डायरेक्टर है डेविड लिंच बता ये वर्ड यूज़ कर सकता हूँ कि नहीं कर सकता हूँ हम बीप करते ना सबसे बकचोट डायरेक्टर है दुनिया में उतने अपने आप को सीरियसली लेता ही नहीं है वो आपकी मर्जी है वो उसको अपने आप को सीरियस इतना बड़ा डायरेक्टर है कुछ इंटेलेक्चुअल बैगेज इसके साथ नहीं आता हो जितने भी मैंने उसकी स्टोरीज पढ़ी है एक दिन वो गाय लेके बैठ गया था एक चौक में मेरे का उस देख लें वीडियो डेविड लिंच की एंड ही डज थिंग्स मुझे ऐसा लगता है उसके पास जब एक्टर्स जाते होंगे और बोलते होंगे सर मैं कहाँ खड़ा हूँ बैकग्राउंड जो बैकग्राउंड में भी खड़े हैं तो उनको खड़ा होगा गाड़ी के ऊपर नाच और वो हुआ है दो तीन फिल्म में आप देखो ब्लू वेल वेट एक फिल्म है इसमें एक सीन है बहुत सीरियस सीन चल रहा है प्री क्लाइमैक्स में कुछ सीरियस हो रहा है पीछे एक औरत गाड़ी के ऊपर नाच रही है सो अपरा बट इज सो इंटरेस्टिंग न्यून एंड ब्लू वेलवेट एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस फिल्म तो वो उससे मुझे सीख मिलता बोलते हैं इतना सीरियसली मत लो हर चीज़ को किसी को डाउनग्रेड मत करो ऐसे सबके अंदर कैपेबिलिटी है और हो सकती है कीचड़ में कमल खिलाना भी एक कला है और एक चीज़ें हैं और ऐसा ना कि तुम कौन हो क्या हो किस ग्रेड में तुमने जोड़ दिया किसी को ऑलरेडी इतनी साल हमारे में हमारे यहाँ वो है चीज़ें हैं उसके बाद फिर ये तुम दोबारा कर रहे हो तो ये तो इंटेलेक्चुअलों की गलती है रिलैक्स रिलैक्स डोंट टेक योर सेल्फ सो सीरियसली डोंट टेक थिंग सो सीरियसली गो हैव फन इन लाइफ वेर एवर यू आर घर आओ लोफ वाली चाय पियो सो जाओ जहाँ पे ना ये बात हो रही की कि यू नो दे लुक एट यू एज इन्फ्लुएंसर्स आर दे टेकिंग यू सीरियसली दे दे कौन बिकॉज वी आर गेटिंग ऑडिशन एंड वी आर गोइंग एंड वी आर गेटिंग वर्क एंड वी आर डूइंग आर दे आई डोंट केयर अबाउट दैम in that same conversation you taught anu about delulu and sulu yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. he has not stopped using it since yeah, yeah, you should know the beach mein mujhe bhi insecurity si ho gayi thi ki main tv sab log bol rahe tv se bada mushkil ho jata hai ye tv se hai to tv se fir maine socha yaar ye bol raha hai acha mere ko bhi yaar thoda kurta pajama pehen ke bag dal ke prithvi theater mein ghumna padega matlab aise is tor pe main ab validation ke liye छः सात साल पहले की बात बोल रहा हूँ मैं वैलिडेशन के लिए करने लग गया था चीज़ें कि चलो यार क्या करने माइजनर और माइजनर करते हैं अच्छा सर इसलिए मास्की हो रही है फिर धीरे धीरे मुझे लगा रहा नहीं यार तो सारा अंदर का काम है ये सारी चीज़ें तो मुझे ये सारे कंबल तो मुझे घर छोड़ के आने पड़ेंगे तभी तो मैं कैरेक्टर का कम्बल पकड़ूंगा तो मेरे को रियलाइज हो गया छट पर यार टी वी से शाहरुख खान सर तक टी से आए तो ये बैग क्यों कोई सुना सकता है तुम ये टी से तुम आए हो या ये जो भी है तो ऐसी कभी कभी लगता है कि ऑल्सो आई थिंक समटाइम्स इट्स एग्जॉस्टिंग टू कंटिन्यूसली प्रूव वॉट यू कैन डू एंड कैन नॉट जिस बिकॉज यूर बॉक्स इन टू अ कैटेगरी 
and I think if if you are able to show other sides so that people accept you, you know, faster or or in a way where you're not just used as a marketing pony, mm-hmm. because clearly, you know, when when sometimes they cast um, creators or or people who are not trained actors, there's like a hidden agenda behind it, mm-hmm. you know. Or oh, we can do promotions, we can do whatever, whatever with it. I think if creators are doing skits in their home. They're play acting now. So if anything, train them if you're going to take them. And maybe do more of that instead of just being like, why are they getting? So what to do? <laughs> what else can you do? We're here. Then what will you do? I so I think I say this all the time. I would much rather be cast for who I am and what I'm built than who I'm related to. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like me yet. At the end of the day, you know, this whole thing about creators not being smart enough. Yeah. We built this, you know, and a lot of us come from privileged Shaw, but we built this. We we've been our own DOPs, makeup artists, stylists, this that. We've done all of these jobs right together in one. And dude, most of us are highly educated as well. So yeah. Like, we're not stupid. Like, we know the pulse, which is why we get the numbers and like the whatever. Right. right? I mean, Like who are you? Like you said, Richa Shanda was talking about this. And like some Chintu in Chandigarh. Who cares? Yeah. Karo <laughs> baat. And I would also, for the longest time in my life, I would I would back away from saying anything that could come off as confrontational because I had to be nice on like whatever because everybody needs to like me in the comment section. But I'm at that point in my life that I truly couldn't care anymore because I can't live my life like this where I'm so bothered by each and every person's opinion of who I am. You don't even know who I am. I think um, Tom Holland said this once. He's like, if you have a problem with yeah. me, call me. If you don't yeah. have my number, you don't have a problem with me. Yeah. And I live by that. You don't matter yeah. enough to have a problem. Yeah, yeah. With then you don't yeah. know me. So if you have an issue, pick up the phone. If you can't pick up the phone on me, introspect. You have an issue with yourself. Uh, my next thing you know, Nayarika's number is going viral uh, in the comment section. Uh, <laughs> 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 डिजिटल क्रिएटर इको सिस्टम You guys have done it for most of those ten years, especially the both of you. What are some learnings or mistakes that you've possibly done that you can save a whole generation of creators by just by what you are sharing? If you are not a fool, don't go on camera. Don't go. Because you can get tail. कैसे बता पाएंगे वो घर वाले घर वाले बोलते हैं बहुत हमें भी बोलते थे बेटा ये सब मत कर हमने सुना नहीं बताओ मिस्टेक था हां बाकी आप गलतियां करते रहें जो आपकी सबसे बड़ी ब्लेसिंग है कि आप गलती कर पा रहे हैं कीप मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स क्योंकि नो एडवाइस नो सक्सेस और नो कन्वर्सेशन विद एनीवन विल हेल्प यू या मोर देन यू मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स योरसेल्फ या वो जो खुद सीखने में मजा आता है ना कि कुछ मैंने बोल दिया एक हफ्ते बाद मुझे खुद को खुद तो फील हो रहा है कि मैंने क्यों बोला ऐसा mm. वो रियलाइजेशन बेस्ट है लाइफ की mm. और बढ़िया है और मैं सच बता रहा हूँ प्रोकेस्टिवेशन बहुत जरूरी है लाइफ आई वॉज अबाउट टू से दैट कि बहुत जरूरी है सबको होना चाहिए क्योंकि आजकल नहीं आप आप बेबाक आप बेबाक हो आप बोलो कुछ भी बोलो पर आप खुद से नहीं झूठ बोल सकते ना आप पहले खुद को समझाओ कि ये सही है कि नहीं हम अक्सर क्या करते हैं हम बस बोल देते हैं कि देखी जाएगी इंटरनेट अब देखी जाएगी वाला नहीं इंटरनेट हैज बिकम रूथलेस आप कुछ बोलो आपको पता होता है कि कल तक तो मैं मीम बन जाऊंगा तो ये अवेयरनेस बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि अब इंटरनेट हैज चेंज्ड अ लॉट या सो यू नीड टू बी अवेयर किसी भी क्रिएटर की जर्नी भले वो लाइक इफ इट दे स्टार्टेड 10 इयर्स अगो या अभी स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं 10 साल बाद स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं विल नेवर बी द सेम Yeah. अगर सेम दो लोग एक ही चैनल पे भी अगर काम कर रहे हैं तो भी उन दोनों की जर्नी उस चैनल को लेके बहुत अलग होगी सो लाइक ही सेड आई थिंक द ओनली वे फॉरवर्ड इज ट्रायल एंड एरर कोई कोई फार्मूला नहीं है देयर इज नो वन वे टू गेट इट्स वेरी हार्ड आल्सो बिकॉज़ पीपल डोंट रियलाइज व्हेन टॉकिंग व्हेन रियली टॉकिंग स्मैक अबाउट कंटेंट क्रिएटर्स वी आर सो एक्सेसिबल टू पीपल 
people that come from say a star family or just pure actors are not that accessible you can hide behind fiction you can't hide behind what you put forth as yourself all the time so you know people really do feel entitled to your opinions about everything and you will make a mistake and unfortunately with the way that the internet works you are expected to be on a pedestal right and being right about things but do really make mistakes you will screw up and we've all been that we've said the wrong thing done the wrong thing gotten butchered for it and learned mm. so you know that's just part of the process okay guys i want to know from each of you all is there a hack to making instagram work for you versus the other way around becoming a slave to it no 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 we have all signed up for a life of slavery yeah matlab instagram algorithm hi thoda change ho gaya na they have to cater to everyone so now earlier the way now the rec- the way the rec- your videos your content is recommended to people has changed a lot hmm of a vertical format ho gaya instagram bhi so your your photos won't reach hmm most of your audience will doesn't yeah so yeah it's it will keep on changing jab tak aadhe log chhod nahi dete ya aadhe log kuch put patang zariye nahi choose karte to get viral it will keep happening and people are doing that say it to each its own wala maza aata hai mujhe dekh ki kaise kaise hum soch rahe the ki ye kar denge aaj se 5 saal baad 6 saal baad ye kar denge wo mauka hi nahi de rahe har saal naya kuch ek algorithm dal dete hain aapke samne ha ha and you have to dodge your way through but sometimes you can't and i don't know if this is going to offend people or any of you but i don't think i want to be just a content creator for the rest of my life i do it i want to act more i want to do more of that um and i want to be taken seriously as an actor also and not just be um the diversity hire you know um so i will do content for as long as it feels positive as long as it feels um happy but i don't intend on ever becoming a slave to the system if it doesn't bring me joy it's not going to be part of my life like for me i mute and restrict people like left right and center on my instagram like i mute people that i can't unfollow because i don't want it to become a thing <laughs> but i just mute that's you that's your hack yeah yeah that's just yeah. mute people you don't get to come on my phone and turn <laughs> my mood off i am and i I'm, i'm a creator i spend a lot of even when i'm not creating i spend a lot of time on my instagram just like mindlessly scrolling when i'm in the car stuck in traffic at bkc <laughs> but <laughs> but i just feel like monitor it for yourself na put those regulations in for you if it doesn't bring you joy if it doesn't help you grow if it is in, in any way hampering your peace going back to what you said about protecting your peace it doesn't deserve to be I do only have as much power as you give it and by it I mean pages people platforms absolute everything I feel like the minute you put yourself at the top of the system in your life everything can be very easy so I know it's it's a big bad world but even off the internet it's a big bad world only when you go to work every day when you're stuck in traffic and screaming in your car at people who can't drive <laughs> I feel like it's it's the world we live in. I mean, you can sit and crave about it or you can just make sure that you call the shots on it. And it's really not that tough. If you're responsible, you know what you want, what you don't want, what makes you happy, whose face you don't want to see, yeah. customize your Instagram accordingly and then create content. I mean, it's different again depending on what your social location is, etc. It's not the same experience for everybody for sure. In the sense that, you know, home the transphobia you get is a whole other level of course i'll not With i'll not anything uh, yeah i don't have any kind of uh, so again you have to find your relationship with social media everybody yeah. has it yeah. right whether it's a certain number of hours in a day uh, something that i do is i try not look at my phone for the first 2 hours of waking up it has changed my life because it's such a reflex you know like to sort of unless there's an alarm I feel like this thing and just throw it away <laughs> because I can't get on any app and keep scrolling like that the second I wake up it's it's toxic for me. That's your hack. Raga yeah. what's your hack? She mutes. She doesn't touch her phone for the first <laughs> two and a half hours in <laughs> the day. What do you do? Because you are a huge promoter of slow living. It's your Insta bio as well. Aap kya karte ho? Main yaar kuch 
ऐसा नहीं है जैसे इट्स लाइक लाइफ ओनली तुम कैसे पूरा रिलेशनशिप क्या है तुम्हारा इंस्टाग्राम से इंस्टाग्राम ओनली इन इंस्टाग्राम तो मेरा बस वो ही है मैं मुझे जो इंटरेस्टिंग लगता है वो मैं जो खुद को इंटरेस्टिंग लग रहा होता है वो मैं शूट जैसे पहाड़ों में जाता हूँ पहाड़ वहाड़ पत्ते वत्ते शूट कर लेता हूँ उसके व्यूज इतने आते नहीं है क्योंकि मैं फिर अभी मैंने सीखा है कि भाई रील अच्छे से बनानी पड़ती है और वो गाने में तो वो मैं धीरे धीरे सीख रहा हूँ हालांकि मैं दे देता हूँ किसी को भाई मेरा कजन या किसी को बजे तू बना के दे या तू बना के दे फिर ये बना के दे दे मैं वीडियो लेके आया ऊपर से देख पहाड़ से क्या लेके ऊपर से देख नया माल आया पहाड़ से वीडियो बना के दे तो वो सारे बैठ के मेरे लिए बना देते हैं बट ये रिलेशनशिप अपना वैसे रखो ज़्यादा मैं जीरो फॉलो करता हूँ मम्मी को ही फॉलो करता हूँ सिर्फ तो मैं जैसे ही टाइम खोलता भी हूँ तो आई आर यू सी वट एवर एक आता है Yeah. और मैं वो सिर्फ वो चीज एल्गोरिज्म में रखता हूँ जो मुझे पसंद है yeah. <laughs> <laughs> एक एक डेढ़ घंटा सीरियसली एक डेढ़ घंटा बट यू आस्किंग अबाउट ओनली अबाउट द फोन या नॉट फोन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंस्टाग्राम या व्हाट इज योर्स Let's go around check. the panel. I check. I want to check. morning I checked it was one hour 56 minutes. That's all. I don't know. Bad much time out there. How do you do it? Why did you see it at night? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How do you check screen time or Instagram? Settings. Phone no, you go to. Yeah. Phone settings. Screen time. Average. Weekly. Ah, okay. okay. Daily. <laughs> oh, Instagram. <laughs> आई थिंक मैं बोलता हूँ जब तक ये भूल रही है मैं मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हम मेरी जो लाइफ है बड़ी मोनोटनस सी नहीं है जैसे मैं आज यहाँ हूँ तो परसों क्या होता है मैं चौदह हज़ार फीट में कैंपिंग कर रहा हूँ पंद्रह दिन के लिए तब मैं नहीं देख सकता हूँ तो मेरा और कभी कभी मेरा ऐसा है कि घर बैठा तो हाँ देख रहा हूँ बादल वर्षा बीच और हवन तो मेरा चेंज होता रहता है ऐसा नहीं है कि एक ही रहता है समझ रहे हो तो अब अब वो है कि चेंज होता रहता है जैसे बीच में ऐसा हो जाता देखता ही नहीं हूँ फिर ऐसा होता है अरे आ रहा है तो देख लेते ऐसा चेंज शिफ्ट होते रहता है ऐसा एक मोनोटनस नहीं है कि ये व्हाट्स योर नंबर एनीवेयर बिटवीन 2 आवर्स टू 8 आवर्स वाओ इट चेंजेस अगेन डिपेंडिंग ऑन व्हाट यू आर डूइंग व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन एंड इफ आई एम शूटिंग ऑन सेट व्हाट आई वर्किंग इन बैरी एनीथिंग इन द हॉस्पिटल वाज मेरली एनीथिंग बट इफ इट्स अ डे ऑफ एंड जस्ट बी वेरी लेजी सब बारह बजे से देख रहे हैं पर मैं कॉन्शियसली ओके ओनली जॉन्स वी शुड सॉरी डेली एवरेज कह रही हूं मैं तो कल देखा हां डेली एवरेज कह रही हूं नॉट वीकली मैं कॉन्शियसली करता हूं कि मैं एल्गोरिथम और अपनी सही रखूं कि सिर्फ ऐसे चीजें हैं जो मुझे कुछ ग्रोथ हां ग्रोथ करे हां करेक्ट वो मैं कॉन्शियसली करता हूं कि या नहीं ये नहीं ये नहीं बट ये एग्जैक्टली ऐसे फिल्म फिल्मस्केप्स और ये स्क्रिप्ट राइटिंग वो होते हैं नेशनल थिएटर है तो मैं कोशिश करता हूं कि मैं वही देखूं जो मुझे ग्रो करते रहेंगे और उससे बहुत agree. मदद होती है काइंड ऑफ परस्पेक्टिव दैट यू विल गेट और काइंड ऑफ एक्सपोजर दैट यू गेट टू कंटेंट व्हिच वाज आई लाइक हां आई एम नॉट गेटिंग गेट्स टुडे आई वाज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द सैलून ओके एंड यू नो हाउ यू कैन कैट कॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल स्लो डाउन ऑन अ बाइक इज टू गो स्लो डाउन ऑन अ बाइक एंड ही स्ट्रेट अप गोस सो एलिगेंट आई एम लाइक व्हाट इज दिस कम टू व्हाट इज दिस यू नो द द ट्रूथ इज वी नो द इंटरनेट इज crazy toxic as well i don't want to get yeah. to the question about the trolls but if you guys are comfortable talking about it what do you do for your mental health i meditate uh, i work out i every time i'm um if i'm sad i just get up and <laughs> work out because i I've, i've i've come to realize over the past like few months really it's quite recent for me on so um that my physical health is very tied to my mental health and yeah. when i'm feeling some type of way and I'm, i'm usually feeling better at the end of a workout i'm feeling some other pain that i can actually see yeah. you know uh so mental health you know my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> at least my ankle hurt i know what what i'm feeling um 
I read a lot. Uh, I, I've read over a hundred books this year already, and I was so proud of it. Oh, I'm building a mini saying. library. Well, no, no, you read a lot too. I, I've, I've actually taken a few recommendations from you as well. Oh my God, you're reading the dirty ones. I'm a smart. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> like some of them, some of them well are dirty. I'm a thriller girl, but like What's sometimes. What's the last book you read? I read. Uh, I'm reading the last word. It's a thriller about. Uh, Nobody cares. I'll tell you later. Oh. What do you do for your mental health? I don't know if my mental health is okay or not. I have never been to a therapist, but uh, uh, I keep. बस वही मैं travel बहुत करता हूँ यार. Travel बहुत पसंद है मुझे. Yoga करता हूँ मैं. और travel से मुझे बहुत चीजें सीखने को मिलती हैं यार. कभी कभी ना और travel भी वो वाला नहीं जैसे पर्दे खुल रहे हैं, नाश्ता तैरता हुआ आ रहा है. वो नहीं. वो भी जरूरी है कि वो free में मिलता है. करता हूँ कभी भी वो free में मिल ट्रैवल मतलब सच्ची में जाके मिट्टी में जुड़ो कैंप hmm. लगाओ अच्छा फायर की वैल्यू पता लगती है क्योंकि लकड़ी इकट्ठी करके लानी होती है तुम्हें फिर फायर पूरी रात फायर की वैल्यू पता लगती है कि जानवर ना आ जाए कुछ ना आ जाए पानी लेके आना पड़ता है किलोमीटर से नीचे तो पूरी रात उतना ही पीना पड़ता है जितना ज़रूरत है हर चीज़ की वैल्यू पता लगती है देन मैंने कम बैक टू द शहर और स्विगी से ऑर्डर होता है वही खटखट खट एकदम आता तो वह नहीं उसे एक बैलेंस रहता है तो मैं मेंटल हेल्थ के लिए ट्रैवल करता हूँ बहुत बेसिक्स से ट्रैवल करता हूँ वो मुझे बहुत सुकून में और ग्राउंडेड रखता है व्हाट आई 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 डोंट हैव एन आंसर फॉर दिस व्हाट डू बिकॉज़ डोंट मे बी हैवेंट रियलाइज्ड कुछ मतलब आई नीड टू सी समवन और समथिंग हमारा मंथ का करते हैं इसका रखते हैं बट बैट एक दिन ले जाऊंगा मैं से कभी बैट नहीं प्लीज यार चलेंगे चलेंगे डन 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 अह एग्जैक्टली व्हाट शी सेड वर्किंग आउट रीडिंग एंड आई थिंक वन थिंग दैट आई हैव बीन डूइंग एवर सिंस आई वाज अ चाइल्ड सो आई एम एन ओनली चाइल्ड एंड आई हैव ग्रोन अप विद माय पेरेंट्स सो आई हैव ऑलवेज काइंड ऑफ आई हैव नॉट हैड अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स नॉट बिकॉज़ आई हैव अ टेरिबल पर्सनालिटी बट आई हैव जस्ट नॉट अ काइंड ऑफ गॉन देयर अम आई It might sound crazy to some people, but I I have a very healthy internal dialogue that I keep having with myself in front of a mirror, and I kind of do it almost every day. It's either the first thing in the morning or the last thing before I sleep. But I will kind of it could be affirmations, it could just be putting things into words that good have job. been being. Yeah, it could be good job be. Uh, but I that is one thing that has that I've done all my life. I feel like that helps me a lot. Yeah, good. How's your mental right? <laughs> loaded. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Loaded. But I do a lot of things though. Um, I think strangely much as it was very hectic to the end two words, um, I appreciated the medical world because it kept me extremely grounded. You know, like you just said, when you go and you deal with death and disease, like that kills, and you're cleaning wounds and this and that. You know, it really sort of brings you down to reality. This is what it really is, and. that kind of makes you realize how much of this world is made up and how much of this world is curated very carefully you know um so i think one of my biggest things is all of my friends from the medical world i hold them very close um and i'm still in touch with every single one of them many of them are in bombay and my closest circle is not from this world i need it to be that way because if i get too carried away I'm not going to be able to have that balance anymore. So that's really important. Um, the second would be unfollowing like a good fifty people every day. Wow! Because I, at one point, used to obsessively follow, like just like that, and then, like your feed cluttered is also your mind cluttered. I feel I just need to cut it out. So starting doing that, it's helped a lot. Yes, yeah, and therapy. Anyone that can access it should access it. As a doctor, I can say that you don't shy away from going to a doctor. Why would you shy away? So, it's just the basic. Uh, and not that everyone necessarily should. I'm just saying that you know it's it's part of self care. If you can access it, it's a good thing. Um, what else? I draw a lot. I don't know if a lot of people know this. I doodle obsessively. I draw a lot. I read. 
I cook for myself to this day, always have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is all stuff that you probably do subconsciously and don't even realize. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And finally, you know, I was watching this really interesting podcast that you were on with Nikhil Kamath. Really interesting one where they talked about how uh, the shelf life for a content creator could possibly be around that seven year mark after which you feel the need to pivot, which in many ways each of y'all are also doing. What would be your prediction? And I'll start with BOG for content creation next year. For myself or in general? In general. For the ecosystem. I think when someone picks up a camera and starts to record something on their phones or for Instagram or for YouTube, sabko actor banna hai. Wo right unse kabhi nahi chhinna chahiye. So, mere se jitna ho pata hai, I encourage people around me to keep at it. Keep doing that. You never know, aaj kal that thin line between Bollywood and content creation wo aur itni thin ho gayi hai ki ab Bollywood wale is taraf aa gaye. Exactly. वो इस तरफ आ चुके हैं अगर वो इस तरफ आ सकते हैं तो अपन लोग भी उस तरफ जा सकते हैं और अपन लोग जा रहे हैं तो ये चलते रहना चाहिए और ये आने वाले टाइम में इट विल बी एन अमेलगमेशन ऑफ कंटेंट क्रिएशन विथ द पीपल हु आर इनटू दिस बिजनेस सिंस लॉन्ग वो एक वाटर डील इतनी खूबसूरत है क्योंकि मैं जानता हूँ मेरे आस जितने भी लोग थे जो अपनी एक स्क्रिप्ट पढ़वाने के लिए मर रहे थे पिछले छः साल से आज वो दो दो तीन तीन फिल्में कर रहे हैं साथ में तीन चार प्रोजेक्ट्स कर रहे हैं साथ में ये गोल्डन एरा है इंटरनेट का क्योंकि आपको जो आप इज्जत डिजर्व करते हो वो आपको अब किसी भी छोटे मोटे फॉर्म में या बड़े फॉर्म में मिल रही आई नेवर थॉट लाइक माय द बिगेस्ट डिसीजन आई टुक इन लाइफ वाज टू क्रिएट अ प्रोडक्शन हाउस आई वाज वेरी स्केप्टिकल एंड आई स्टार्टेड विथ प्लस माइनस बी वी वाइन्स प्रोडक्शन शुरू किया और ज़्यादा एम्बिशस नहीं हुई कि दस चीज़ें करेंगे साथ में जितनी चादर है उतना ही एक प्रोजेक्ट यहाँ किया एक प्रोजेक्ट यहाँ किया एक प्रोजेक्ट यहाँ किया इस साल एक प्रोजेक्ट है जो इस साल रिलीज भी नहीं होगा पर उस पर काम चल रहा है वो अगले साल रिलीज होगा अगले साल दो प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं दो दो साल बाद रिलीज होगी ऐसे करके 27 तक देर आर सेवन शोज दैट आई एम डूइंग जरूरी है और सब में मैं हूँ हाँ मतलब नॉट नॉट रियली बट I get the audition tapes की अच्छा डिसीजन है हाँ अच्छा ये काम करने का क्योंकि मेरे को ना ऐसा फील होता है कि जब तक कोई आप पे भरोसा जताए तब तक बड़ा देर हो जाता है तो मैंने कहा अगर थोड़ी अपनी कैपेबिलिटी के हिसाब से अपने अपनी औकात अनुसार आप अगर कुछ काम करते हो या औकात के बाहर भी हाँ औकात के बाहर भी अगर आप कुछ काम करते हो तो फिर चले वो चले ना चले इस योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड आई वॉन्ट टू टेल दिस टू एवरी वन वॉज वॉचिंग दिस औकात से बाहर जाना बहुत ज़रूरी है कोई अगर आपको बोले कि मत कर मस्त कर ये मत कर वो मत कर तो उस टाइम हाँ बोल दो लेकिन करो भाई नहीं मैं कह रही थी आई उसका यार फाइनली जस्ट ईच वन ऑफ यूर वॉट इज your biggest dream for yourself for 2024 what are you most excited about i saw the picture on your instagram with sharuk that said choti choti aankhe aankhe bade bade sapne what are the bade bade sapne for each of you we start with me now okay <laughs> cool um i want to audition for a lot more parts because the thing is the number of auditions you're doing are also representative of how many of these characters are being written correct in the first place which um itself i feel is a great thing yeah. to exist at a time where such beautiful characters are being written so whether i get the part or get the part i want to be doing a lot more auditions you know and even auditioning for cis women because why not it's always been the other way around where yeah. men or people from outside this community do yeah. ask us um and not necessarily because they have talent just that they have an audience and people people want to see that man in a saree it's just about that so i would want to see more people from our community doing this and also doing diverse stuff and through my own power raga yaar mera na mai you on 2020 course already set yeah wohi mera kyunki mai covid ke pehle se itne saalon se auditions aur 
शूट कर रहा हूँ चीज़ें आई रिलीज ही नहीं हो रही है मैंने अपने एक्टिंग कोच को बोला कि सर आपने मुझे बताया था एक्टिंग इज डूइंग बट एक्टिंग इज रिलीजिंग कब होता है मैं परेशान हो गया पाँच छः साल पाँच साल हो गए मैंने उतना शूट करी थी एक्सेल की कोविड से पहले फिर वर्ल्ड वॉर थ्री आने वाली थी अब तो जब मैं तो अब मेरे को मेरा ड्रीम ही है कि सारे पांच ये चार पाँच ये रिलीज हो जाए भाई मेरे कसम से बहुत वो है कि टीवी छोड़े हुए भी चार साल पाँच हो गए साढ़े चार साल पाँच साल मेरे को अब मेरे को रिलीज करना है यार कुछ दिखे तो मतलब सब कुछ हो गया इंटरव्यूज हो रहे हैं टिफ चला गया हूँ अच्छा ये भी हमारी साइड तो ये नहीं है ना मेरे दोस्त जो उनको जाकर बोलो कि भाई मैं जब वापस आया टिफ से तो वहाँ किसी को कुछ पता ही नहीं है तो कह रहे भाई तेरी फिल्म टिफ ने तो कमाल कर दिया तो मैंने कहा अपने टिफ फेस्टिवल तो भाई वो फेस्टिवल है अरे हाँ भाई वो ही वो ही अब कुछ आए तो बाहर तो वो बंदा बोले ड्रीम वो ही है कि भाई किसी तरह रिलीज हो जाए सब और ये लेडी उठ जाए पूरे टाइम बैठी हुई है मैं चाहूंगा कि ये उठ जाए काफी देर से लेटी हुई है रिलीज हो जाए मेरा भाई काम और देखें हम सब इतना पसंद करें और बस ये ड्रीम है मेरा भी तो दैट विल हैप डूड ऑनेस्टली दिस हैज बीन अ लॉट ऑफ प्रेप लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ सोइंग द सीड्स एंड आई एम सो यूज्ड टू इंस्टेंट ग्रैटिफिकेशन सो आई फील लाइक द वेट इज बीन किलिंग मी बट आई एम बीन ट्रेनिंग अ लॉट दिस ईयर आई हैव बीन learning a lot it's amazing i i actually have a bunch of mentors right now that i'm being trained under and and i feel like i have to wait for like the right thing cuz i've spent too long prepping so now i can't rush it so now i'm even more in that spot where i'm like wait i don't know what my dream is anymore because it's changing every day and I, and i pictured my life to go a certain way this year but it didn't and it went a different way so i don't think i can i i want to i want my biggest dream to be something i can't even dream of honestly या सो वी आई वांट टू रीपिक नेक्स्ट ईयर और कारण के बाहर दिस ईयर हां भाई मुझे बस बाहर ही रहना है वो सही बोला है या भगवान आई विल वर्क विद न्यू पीपल बिकॉज़ दे आर वेरी हंगरी एंड आई एम वेरी हंगरी सो व्हेन टू पीपल विद द सेम हंगर दे वर्क टुगेदर देन इट्स अ डिफरेंट इट्स अ डिफरेंट फीलिंग ऑल टुगेदर सो आई जस्ट वांट टू मीट न्यू पीपल एंड आई जस्ट वांट टू वर्क विद देम या शी ओके आर यू डूइंग so that's great and ah uh, i'm very excited for the next year a because the book comes out next year and that's a whole different side of life i feel like again very 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 proud of 2023 project that for even like having the audacity honestly um there's a show i've shot earlier this year which is very different from anything i have watched read written or mm. ever been a part of it's very out of my comfort zone it's very very different and um we've been hearing things so i'm excited for that to come out next year and uh yeah i'll talk about the other things when they happen <laughs> which is also very good advice yeah yeah yes yeah thank you so much really guys this was better than i ever imagined thank you for your insights your experiences and just being the forces of nature that you are Thank, Thank you, you so much for being Thank on you. my untapped. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.